The year is 2018, and a random kid on Twitch going by the name I Sweat Games is streaming Rainbow Six Siege to around five people. Fast forward to 2023, and that same kid is now the biggest Twitch streamer in the world with over 2.5 million followers and 130,000 people subbing to him every month. This is the insane story of the rise of Jinxie. Jinxie, real name Nicholas Stewart, grew up in Florida where he began his streaming career in 2018, originally under the name I Sweat Games. Though streaming to almost no one at the time, Jinxie's content was exactly the same then as it is now, screaming, raging, roasting teammates, and playing his staple game of Rainbow Six Siege. He would play other popular games such as Fortnite, 2K, and Call of Duty with his IRL friends, but Siege would be his overall game of choice. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're lost? Dollar Tree headset? Released in 2015, Jinxie would start playing Siege in 2016 and it would take over Jinxie's life, playing every day trying to become the best. With over 10,000 hours on the game and reaching champion the max rank, all while playing on Xbox, which will become very important to his success later. In 2019, he would change his name on Twitch and officially become who we all know and love today, Jinxie. Though streaming for almost two years by this point, Jinxie has seen little success, reaching his first thousand followers around May of 2020. But he kept on streaming nonetheless because he loved doing it. And ultimately, in 2020, he would make a great decision that would gain him the recognition he'd been looking for. A few months after hitting a thousand followers, Jinxie would make the best move of his career by starting to post on other platforms. Given that the discovery on Twitch is nearly non-existent, this is a must for all people trying to become streamers in today's landscape. He would make his YouTube channel, Jinxie, and TikTok, Jinxie on Twitch, at the same time and would almost immediately start seeing more growth on his stream. He started posting rage montages and stream highlights, as well as some tip videos. I got you guys with limitless, non-stop tips to help you not only improve at the game, but improve your rank. All based around Rainbow Six Siege, which in 2020 was considered to be a dying game as far as content creation goes. Siege had its dedicated fan base, but that's about it. There was no hype around their esports. Is Rainbow Six Siege failing as an esport? The answer to that question is yes. Rainbow Six Siege is failing as an esport. Not very many big names pushing the game, and overall wasn't a game that looked to be making a comeback anytime soon until Jinxie came along. In late 2020 and all of 2021, clips of Jinxie would begin going viral of him playing Siege, mainly on TikTok, but it wasn't because of the gameplay. Stop the tape, this kid needs to be locked away. Dr. Dre, don't just stand there, operate. Why are we not droning? Being an Xbox player, Jinxie could message anyone he wanted mid game, including the other team, which would lead to some of the funniest Jinxie moments to date. as well as his most popular series reacting to fan clubs all right we need to make a rotation that's a rotation for a normal r6 operator not a sumo wrestler on xbox you can clip your game and then send the clip to whoever you want via message so fans would send clips to jinxie hoping to not only get on stream but also to get tips on their gameplay given he was a high level player but Jinxie's tips were less than useful. So Frost, is there any reason why you're looking at the ceiling fan right now? Blitz is in the objective, dumbass. 
He's in sight! These reactions would be shared all over TikTok and other social media and is how I and probably most others originally found out about Jinxie. This is what I want you to do. Grab a Ying Candela, throw it right over the Azami barricades and absolutely Johnson him. He played a game I've never really cared about but was funny and eccentric and that kept people watching. Being a console player, however, would also lead to some controversy for Jinxie and his squad. Mouse and keyboard is undoubtedly the preferred method of playing for pro and high level players of any FPS game, but on console, it's all controller. However, Siege has had a problem where people could purchase mouse and keyboard adapters for their console to get an edge on controller players. This is technically against the rules, but from what I can tell, Ubisoft did about as much as Riot does for cheating in my Valorant games, which is absolutely nothing. Jinxie and his squad have been accused multiple times for using these adapters, and even though there's no proof of Jinxie ever using one, it is believed the people he plays with in his high ranked games either have or still do. But it seems that at the beginning of this year, Ubisoft has brought out a patch that has at least mostly fixed this issue. Accusations aside, it didn't matter what game Jinxie was playing, honestly, because fans began tuning in for his personality as a streamer. When I say this dude is one of the funniest people I've ever seen, I'm not lying. Jinxie would repeat this process of raging at teammates, roasting, and 1v1ing viewers on Siege. No, 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 no. No, no. Shut up, like, bro, I'm, I, I'm leaving the party. Fuck all of you guys. Like, bro, I know there's a kid there, Bray. Shut the fuck up. All while posting it all to TikTok and YouTube, and this would help skyrocket Jinxie's growth for the next couple of years, all the way to the beginning of 2023, when he hit 500,000 followers on Twitch, all while keeping the same energy he's had for almost four years now. And while he had a sizable fan base at this point, we soon found out that 2023 would be the year of Jinxie. Jinxie from the beginning of 2023 till now has absolutely dominated on Twitch, hitting a million followers in April of 2023, all while creating the same content. Oh, I got water. Oh, GG. Let's take a gamer shower. More notably, Jinxie has become the most subbed streamer on Twitch in the same month. Chat, we are number one in the world on Twitch, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, that is fucking nuts. Oh my god. Surpassing people like Kai Sanat and XQC while still just having fun playing raging and reacting to anything rainbow six siege related to the point where a lot of people are starting to credit jinxie with single-handedly saving siege from being a completely dead game additionally the term single-handedly is not an exaggeration when it comes to jinxie because he literally did it on his own while many other games have profited from multiple creators collaborating and working together to boost their clout jinxie is the only streamer who caused this resurgence because the resurgence is about him and while the player number has seen a slow upward shift Shift since the beginning of 2023, the average amount of daily players is still half of what it was in 2019. So saving the game or not, Jinxie's managed to grow himself a dedicated fan base that stick around for the energy he brings to every stream. Now in September and with a massive 2.5 million followers on Twitch, 3.4 million followers on TikTok, and over 1 million subs on YouTube at just 21 years old, Jinxie's journey is just getting started. And what else he can do from here on out, we will just have to wait and see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.